Hello, welcome to our next video. Uh, this is more to do with the security of transit vans for transits in general, um, mainly aimed at Mark 6 and Mark 7 transit vans. And the principles in this video can be applied to other vans too. We've all seen those videos on YouTube of how easily it is to break into transit vans, so hopefully this video can give a bit of guidance to anyone that might be looking to upgrade the security of their van. This video doesn't cover all possible ideas um, because there are external deadlocks and stuff you can get as well. So the main topics in this video will be the upgraded driver's door key barrel, the armour plating, the protection for the wiring loom and uh, the internal deadlocks on the inside of the back of the van. So the first thing I wanted to do when I got the van uh, was to replace the barrel. I chose a high key. Uh, barrel. As you can see, it's uh, really robust. It comes with a special key um, and it's a very, very easy swap with the original barrel. I just take the, uh, the inside of the door off and uh, slot it straight in. I'll leave a link to where you can buy them in the description below. So once I've done that, I've got some armour plates and I think brand new armour plates are about £100. Um, but I managed to get these second hand off eBay for 30 quid um, and, uh, and fitted them to all of the doors. Uh, take note that with the sliding door, I've seen a lot of vans in the UK with uh, the armour plating in the wrong position. Where we've pl placed ours on the sliding door is the correct position. It's not the same height as the uh, passenger door, um, so bear that in mind. The next bit was protecting the loom where the uh, wiring goes from the body of the van into the back doors. Um, there's a little plastic covering over those cables and that can easily be broken with a knife going down uh, the crack between the door and the bodywork and near the back lights. So you can buy these protectors off eBay and we just riveted ours in. Uh, it just prevents anyone snipping the loom. On pre-2003 transit vans, I think, uh, I might be wrong with that, but on the earlier Mark VI transit vans, if you cut the wiring loom there, it would disable the central locking, uh, and obviously then any thief could have access to the back of the van. Um, <clears throat> uh, and although that wouldn't be the case with this van, because ours is a 2005, um, it's just such a hassle if uh, somebody was to try that, not knowing that it was uh, a newer Mark VI Transit, uh, it just saves having, having to replace that, that wiring if it was ever to happen. So the next job was um, more for peace of mind than realistic security. If somebody ever really wanted to get in the van they could just smash the front windows and climb through. Um, but we just put some deadlocks on the inside of the back doors because obviously ours is a camper van and we're going to be sleeping in it. So it would just give us a few uh, extra seconds uh, if somebody was trying to break in or they did get past the central locking um, then we just have a bit more of a chance to wake up and uh, <clears throat> prepare ourselves for any situation. Also when we're leaving the van, when we uh, did our road trip around Europe it was nice to be able to lock the inside of the back of the van um, and leave the van sort of knowing it was difficult to break into um, if we were in places that we didn't know. When you double lock the the transit vans, uh, so to say that the orange lights, the hazard lights on the outside flash, that actually double locks the front doors, but it doesn't double lock the back doors. So if somebody was to smash the window and they didn't uh, get through the central locking, then they still wouldn't be able to open the front doors from the inside. Just remember, despite everything in this video, if somebody really wants to break into your van then they'll always find a way, but hopefully this can uh, prevent the likelihood of that happening. So if you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and uh, hopefully see you another time.